Okay, so I will be guiding you through this a meditation with your chosen stone in your non-dominant hand. But first, let's just uh, relax the body a little bit. Straighten the spine, roll those shoulders, loosen the neck a little bit, loosen the jaw, squint your eyes a few times, raise those eyebrows, and then come into stillness. Let's take a few deep inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale through the nose. Audible exhale through the mouth. And coming back to your natural breath. No need to force it. Just breathe very naturally, normally. Next, we're going to be holding the stone in front of our hearts with the index finger and the thumb. Just squeezing the stone a few times. Then coming to stillness, maybe gently closing our eyes so we can go inwards, tuning in with the stone. Try to see if you can find a pulse right at your fingertips. Let's take a deep inhale in. And as you exhale, you're going to move the stone to your middle finger and your thumb, squeezing a few times. Then coming to stillness, breathing here for a few counts. Once again, trying to find the pulse at your fingertips, connecting it with the stone. Inhale here. As you exhale, moving to the ring finger and thumb, squeezing the stone a few times again. Then coming to stillness, once again, trying to find that pulse between your fingers, right at the fingertips. Just gently holding the stone. Spine is nice and straight. Conscious breaths, deep abdominal breaths. Inhale here. Moving the stone to the pinky and your thumb. Might be a little challenging, but let's move it. Giving the stone a squeeze a few times with the pinky and the thumb. Then coming to stillness. Breathing here for a few counts. Deep breaths, full breaths. Inhale here. As you exhale, slowly dropping your palms back on your lap. Eyes are still closed. This time, just play around with your stone. Feel its edges. Sharpness, if any. Run your fingers around the edges. Get familiar with your stone.
rubbing your fingers against the stone, creating some friction, creating some heat, just warming the stone up. When you think that the stone is warmed up enough, you're going to place the stone right at the center of your palm. And then rest your palm on your lap. The left hand can be above the right palm, just in contemplation mudra. Let's take a deep inhale here together. And exhale, sink down into it. Trying to find the pulse in the center of your palm and connecting that pulse with your stone. Keeping the breaths continuous. Try not to think about anything. With each breath that you take, you sink down further and further as the energy of the stone pulls you in, inviting you to connect with it. Notice any tingling sensations. Body temperature changes. Just breathe. Relax the body. Just let gravity pull you down. Yet keeping the spine nice and straight. Awareness with the stone. Awareness at the center of your palm. As we're starting to be relaxed and soft, we can dive a little deeper. Inhale here. Exhale and sink. Finding that connection with your stone. If you have a greeting, say hello. Tell the stone that you want to connect with it. You're ready to receive. You're ready to grow. You're ready to surrender. Tuning in.
If the mind is starting to wander, use that breath to bring the mind back in to the body. Inhale. Exhale all the way, all the way, everything out. Let's place our entire awareness in the center of the palm, right where the stone is. All of us, every part of our consciousness, anchored at the center of our palm with the stone. See where that takes us. not to lose focus, stay present, yet relaxed. Now tell the stone that you want to form a connection, a contract. Telling the stone that you will treat the stone as if you are treating a lover a friend, or yourself. That is with respect, admiration, honor, appreciation, the desire to grow with each other. So tell the stone that you want to form a connection. After you're done stating your intentions, see if you have a message to receive, a vision, an insight, guidance, healing perhaps, that the stone can offer us today. And when you're done activating and connecting with your stone today, always, always say thank you. For the exchange of energies, for its presence, for its guidance, for its teachings, for its healing. So after you're done saying thank you, You can slowly come back to the waking states and proceed to work with the next stone. Or continue working with this stone if you feel that this stone still has something else to teach you for today. We are going to end this video. So if you want to continue, please do so.